Welcome back. Okay, it's nice to get out and ride the bike again. I will do an update video on what bike I'm riding this year, but more importantly, we have more new bikes, and this time we're looking at in person the Trek Rail 5. So this has been a long-awaited bike. Trek has been carrying on with the rail system since essentially the start of their electric system. So Trek Bikes now knows exactly what they're doing with the rail, and they broke it up into two categories, the carbon fiber ones and the aluminum ones. The aluminum ones are sticking pretty similar to where they were at before, where they have the same size battery as before and the same electronic system from Bosch as previous years. Now, if you don't know what that is, we're gonna get back to that. The new ones in the carbon fiber are the newest Bosch system. So that comes with the bigger battery plus the more intelligent module. So this can allow you to really customize the bike the way you want. Jumping back to the Trek Rail 5, which we're looking at today in both its colors, it is a simple take on it. This again is similar to that Moustache Trail 2 I was talking about, where it is the e-biker's e-bike. This is potentially something where you are going to go off-road, you're gonna adventure, you're really gonna explore the trails and actually the trail ride, but you might not need that fine tuning and customized curves as much as potentially a hardcore mountain biker coming into e-mountain bike terrain. Overall, I think they've done a really good job. Obviously, you get a lot of suspension travel here and it's gonna work well, but it's not overkill, it's not super slacked out. It still could be used as like a town commuter, but it's really gonna do well in the trails. It's really gonna handle well. Big 29 inch wheels, big suspension travel without being too heavy and too cumbersome. The brakes on it are fantastic. They're gonna have a lot of stopping force with those four piston. The battery life is gonna do really well. I'm talking to guys, we're talking an average of 50-ish kilometers with a variety of electric modes. In eco, you can go all the way up to 100 kilometers, but not many people just live in that. You are using this as a bicycle, you are using this as an electric bike, and realistically, that's what Trek has designed this for. It looks good, it is beefy, the tires on it are oversized now, everything fits really well, and it looks great. So Trek has built this bike from the ground up, similar to last year, but improved on everything you need. Braking, suspension, all updated, everything's clean, no major changes, but this is a trail bike where you can go off road, you can go anywhere, it feels repetitive, and in a way that's an okay thing. You can go anywhere, you can do anything. I'm just saying that too much about e-bikes. Some of these e-bike reviews seem like the most similar things over and over and over again. But realistically, that's what a lot of them are. It's trying to get you in either the comfiest position while going off-road, or the off-roadest position without being too overkill and overpriced, essentially. To make this combination of an eight to $10,000 mountain bike and have all those features with an electric one not costing 12 to 13, they have to figure out this perfect combination. And they've done it. It looks great, it's gonna ride fantastically. Honestly, I don't think anyone's gonna be disappointed with this, except obviously the overall weight of the bike is chunky. It is a hefty bike. It's not as heavy as some other bikes out there, but compared to other competition, you know, a Santa Cruz Heckler, which is just a few thousand dollars more, it's gonna handle a little bit lighter weight and throw it around easier and jump through the air a little more stable. Dirt bikes are heavy and they fly, so maybe it's not that big of a deal. Maybe it's not that hard. Maybe it's just the loading in the car that you'll notice it. It's hard to say. I think you'll have a good time with this. The Rail 5 is a simple bike. It works well. The Bosch electric system is going to be great. Very simple, easy to use controls, but all bike, all trail, all electric. That's about it, guys. It's a simple one. Thanks for sticking around one more time. This was a quick video, that's all it needs. It is the Trek Rail 5. If you want something fancier, you go into the nine point series. And if you want something simpler, you go into the Powerfly series. Check out both those videos. And otherwise, good luck, thanks.